So today we are going to talk about veves, and veves are a unique concept in voodoo. Veves exist in Haiti and other places where the Fon and Awe went during the slave trade, but are not present in traditional voodoo in Benin or Togo. Veves are present or are symbols of sacred geometry. Sacred geometry, by definition, are patterns found throughout the cosmos that give form to matter. Sacred geometry is used to heighten your mind's sensitivity to perceive energy in the astral and mental plane and was and is used to create sacred temples, monasteries, and churches, etc. Both people who practice magic use uh, bebes as well as people who practice voodoo religiously. To understand bebes, we have to examine concepts beyond voodoo to grasp what is really going on when someone draws a bebe. To first understand sacred geometry, we must look at it as it relates to the cosmos or on a grand scale. In the cosmos, math is king. Mathematics is what brought structure to the vastness of the universe. This was done so with divine intelligence. The concept of intelligent design attempts to put meaning to this. Intelligent design states that something or the universe cannot arise from nothing that there is sentience or consciousness to everything in our universe and that mathematics helps or assists in proving this theory. Pi, string theory, quantum physics, and E equals MC squared are all mathematical equations that attempt to describe the mathematical origin of the universe from a subatomic level to planets and solar systems. E equals MC squared is a theory that attempts that, that attempts, um, to explain how energy equals mass times the speed of light squared. It states that energy and mass or matter are interchangeable and are different forms of the same thing. It also explains how much energy is in a chunk of matter. All matter including includes solids, liquids, and gases, which are substances made up from atoms that are joined together. In science, atoms are building blocks of matter Atoms group together to form molecules, bringing something into form. Two opposing forces, electricity and magnetism, are held together by electrostatic forces forming matter and space. The cosmic egg was used by ancients and is an example of the first signs of matter in space. Quantum physics and string theory states that particles unobserved have no form. An observer, us, gives form to particles unseen. Science has performed many experiments to prove this theory, including a cat experiment by the scientist Schrodinger. Schrodinger put a cat, poison, and a radioactive source in a box and sealed it. In the experiment, it attempted to prove that quantum mechanics theory of the observer. The quantum mechanics theory implies that after a while, the cat is simultaneously dead and alive at the same time. Yet when one looks into the box, one sees the cat either dead or alive, not both dead and alive. We as humans get into thinking only one reality exists. In essence, there are multiple realities and the ones more fixed are the ones we are able to perceive. Many loa are in an alternate or parallel reality and drawing a veve can call the energy to matter quicker, bringing form to matter on a 3D scale. Some loa you would not be able to perceive in their true form to, um, to the human eye. They are like a wave or something that is unseen in nature. The mechanism to perceive matter corresponds to the left side of the brain in the realm of intellect. Veves assist in activating this mechanism in the brain. In the realm of intellect, consciousness becomes self-aware. In the realm of intellect, the intelligences there are pre-human. In the beginning, these intelligences were formed without any visible shape. Through the process of evolution, humans developed the ability to use their imagination to create like unto God. The beings who existed pre-human in the realm of intellect took on bodies of shapes created by humans through humans' imagination giving formless beings form. Man gave a human face to almost everything in nature, and by giving the shapeless beings a vessel to jump into, into a lower plane, um, and the imagination is a plane above us. These beings could and cannot interact with humans. This is the beginning of the creation of gods as we know them. 
The more men interacted with these God forms, prayed to them, invoked them, the stronger the connection became between the gods and humans. When man stops doing this, the God forms die and go back to their original place in nature. This is why Greek gods and Egyptian gods no longer have energy. The culture that supported them died and so did the God forms. An example of this is that e is that is easier to understand is similar to when you close your eyes and can, you can imagine the room that you're in and everything in it. When you're seeing the when you have your eyes closed, you're seeing the energy of the objects. And when you have your eyes open, you're seeing the matter or the solid form of the objects in the room. What is the purpose of gods, would you say, in nature and their relationship to humans? The gods help humans understand natural phenomenon and the complexity of nature in our world, as well as on a smaller scale, can make the day-to-day -day lives of humans easier. How? Because God forms are in a different realm of existence and are able to see different outcomes and multiple possibilities. So we now know that through human's imagination, we can give form to matter. And if a spirit or God form sees an opportunity or favors a human or group of people, it will take on this form and work with humans. Your imagination is a door. It helps you access other realms. When your imagination is logically sound, mathematics and logic go hand in hand. So you would be able to perceive more than someone who just uses one hemisphere of their brain. In ceremonial magic, they draw a circle to contain the energy or entity that they are invoking. That is why you see many veves shaped in a circle. Pi is the radius of a circle, meaning no matter which way you cut it, the circle, you will always get 3.14. And that doesn't matter how big or the small, how big or small the circle is, it will always be 3.14. Pi, whirling, or motion are all fundamental movements for everything created in the universe. Pi is the number that never ends and never repeats itself. And this number is the cipher for life and its structures. It is a code for what the planets use to rotate and atoms to orbit. The Fibonacci sequence is entangled in this number as well as the sequence of DNA. If one were to successfully categorize the number correctly, you would create everything in the universe. People in ancient times used Pi to build Solomon's temple in the Bible and the Great Pyramids of Egypt. The Egyptians and Sol Solomon were attempting to recreate heaven on earth as well as getting the attention of the upper worlds. They were attempting to invoke higher spiritual beings. Veves and Voodoo attempt to invoke and directly call the Loa down to the physical plane to make change. Invoking is calling a force that exists outside of yourself to you and evoking is activating something that is in you or already in you. So on a physical level, drawing a circle in magic or drawing a veve or sigil is bringing an entity in the spot requested for work. Veves were developed when there was a need by the people of Haiti to invoke the loa quickly due to the slave trade. Many times they were in situations where they needed the loa right away. Examples of this are the Haitian Revolution. The Haitian people needed the Loa to come in an instant to assist them with fighting in the war. Remember, many Loa are in a parallel world, and drums or singing alone can take hours to invoke the Loa, especially if you are not bonded to the energy or are outside of the three major spots the Loa are fed. Drawing a veve grounds the Loa's energy to matter and gives them something to quote-unquote land to, so to speak. If you have successfully drawn a veve correctly the, and invoked the Loa you chose, you should know. Um, there should be signs. So um, say if you're like invoking one of the Gede and use their veve for quick action for a situation, you may feel a drop in the temperature in the room or maybe sense that someone is watching you or someone's in the room with you and you should be able to sense the spirit with your physical eyes so that is all for now i will see you guys in my next video